Hey guys, Riley Spanish here, and I have 72 packs in front of me. Um, these all came from these new collector's chests, the ones with Coridon and Miridon. I'd been seeing all of the talk about basically the uh, completely broken pull rates on them from Silver Tempest specifically, and I purchased two at the Target that I was close to, and um, it was true every single silver tempest pack had an ultra rare in it so i decided to go back in and buy 12 more i will realistically just clip uh those two at the end of this video because it was only like six minutes um but it'll be kind of redundant seeming because i'll be explaining that i'm doing it kind of as a scientific test but anyways i'm going to get right into it i actually did manage to get some good pulls from paldea and scarlet as well but obviously the real deal, you know, the thing I was really going after was ultra rares from Silver Tempest. After watching uh, Cool Trainer Ryan's video and getting a bunch of uh, comments about it on my channel, I decided to go, you know, see if it was true, test it myself. So went in, uh, bought two of them. Uh, it seemed to be true, either that or I got very lucky and then I went back in and bought 12 more. They did have a few more, but I couldn't quite, you know, pull the trigger on spending that much on something, you know, just in case. Like, if I don't get any alternate arcs from Silver Tempest and I just get a bunch of normal ultra rares, that's still a fun video to make, but it's not going to be uh, financially wise to, like, buy out Target stores of these necessarily. Nothing so far, but I haven't gotten to any Silver Tempest yet. Just getting through some Paldea and Scarlet from the first tin. They are just stacked up in tin order, so I clear a tin out, throw it on the floor, clear the next one out, you know, and stack them up, basically. So nothing from the Scarlet Violet era sets from that tin, but we should have two pulls from Tempest. Now the code cards don't necessarily matter um, because I was getting pulls from white code cards as well. Malamar and a full art Serena right off the bat. That card is like, I want to say like 40 or 50 bucks. So that paid for a 10 and a half right there with the double banger. We will put Serena right there. Now I'm kicking myself for not buying more, but you know, that's just one pack in. First th first hit there. Really hoping to get an alternate art that isn't the uh, unknown, because I've pulled the unknown twice. But I won't complain if I get that one. I just really want the Lugia, of course. Radiant Alakazam and Superior V-Star. So another double banger pack. On to the next 10. Paldea Evolved. Still hoping to get some hits from Paldea and Scarlet Violet base, of course, too. Um, there's lots of cards I need from Paldea still. I did pull a, a special illustration rare from both sets out of one of those first two tins. Um, I got the Quackwaval and the Great Tusk, I believe it was. So, um, you know, definitely room to get some other pulls, but obviously. The whole point of this is the Silver Tempest packs. Nothing from Paldea in the second tin here. Yeah, and this is 72 packs, so basically the equivalent of two booster boxes. Um, yeah, I might just have to keep buying this. Don Dozo, there's one I've actually never pulled before and needed for my set, so happy to see that from uh, one of the Scarlet Violet packs. One of the coolest artworks too, for illustration rares. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to do well besides just the broken Silver Tempest. Nothing there, on to the next round of Silver Tempest packs. Already starting hot with that Serena. It, so I don't know for sure if it's still like 40, 50 bucks, but it was last time I checked. So um, either way, great pull. Radiant Jirachi, Regidrago V-Star, double banger pack. Absolutely nuts. So 
So yeah, to everyone who suggested this in my comments, thank you, because I opened two of these from GameStop and got absolutely nothing. It's almost like every pack is a double banger practically too. Radiance or uh, trainer galleries. Um, but yeah, I opened two from GameStop, had absolutely nothing in them. The Silver Tempest packs, like all four of them were duds. One had a hollow, uh, but these ones from Target, are absolutely glitched in the best possible way. Nothing from Paldea. I'll do a couple more Scarlet Violet base. Still need the full art Gyarados from this set, but uh, there's a EX box coming out that does have it. I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same or a promo version, but from what I can tell, it's like the exact same card. So we will see. Best pull on the board is still definitely that Serena. I got a uh, alignment dot code card. Look at that. That's funny. All right. So nothing from any of the Scarlet Violet era packs out of this. I guess that would be the third tin. On to Silver Tempest. Show me that Lugia alt art. So Cool Trainer Ryan opened 36 packs from these and got three Lugia alt arts. So there's not a double banger, but what do we have behind? Two Serenas. That is absolutely insane. I think that's the second best card in the set, if I'm not mistaken. The Full Art Serena. We'll just leave one of her up there for now. It's going to try to have two. That is absolutely nuts. I will take it, though, because the more of those I pull, the more I can justify, uh, you know, maybe going and getting some more of these before they're all gone. I just, you know, it's, it's tough to justify spending that much up front, but if, if this is what I'm getting out of it, then it's 100% worth it. Radiant Jirachi, Reggie Lucky V. All right. If I could pull like a Iono or something out of one of these Paldea packs too, imagine that. Quackwaval EX Gold and a slacking. I will take that gold. Probably not worth anything more than like five bucks, but still. A good pull nonetheless. And I never want this uh, this opening to end though with these packs. It's crazy. Dedenne EX. Alright. Finally getting a little love from the Paldea packs. I'd really love to pull that Magikarp illustration rare. Another alignment dot code card. It's funny how off center they all are. Nothing from that first uh, Scarlet Violet pack. Move on to the next one. I'll do a little break right here and uh, give out some code cards too because I have a lot of uh, code cards from the tins themselves. So nothing from those Scarlet Violet packs. Yeah, just a ton of these. I think I have like, yeah, so 14 code cards from the collector's chests. Get these out of the way. And onto the floor where they belong. And two more. All right. Time for some more Silver Tempest God Packs. Wouldn't mind pulling some of the nicer uh, trainer gallery cards either. I did get one textured trainer gallery card from the first two I bought as a test run. Got the unknown V-Star. I wish there was a way to just buy these packs and not get the whole entire tin, but obviously that would be ridiculous. It's just that, you know, they're 30 bucks a piece, so you gotta get something you know, something big every couple of packs to still make it worth it. Radiant Zam, McGearna V Full Art. 
So no alt arts yet so far. Not even halfway in yet. Ooh, I did put the packs uh, kind of in a different order for the next one. So it looks like we'll do one Scarlet Violet base and then back to some Tempest. I just grabbed them out of the tins and kind of stacked them, but I might have not done everything in like any kind of decisive order. So some more Silver Tempest here. I hope that this uh, oversight doesn't drive the prices of the cards down too much, but obviously this isn't like, you know, it's probably a lot out there, but I don't think it can do it in any meaningful way. Brakeson and Reggie Drago. A couple of those Reggie Dragos so far. But yeah, give me one Lugia and I will be a happy man. Lugia alt art, that is. I mean, I'll take the other Lugias too, of course, but obviously the one I really want is that alt art. Gardevoir Trainer Gallery and a Lugia V-Star. So there's a step in the right direction. On to another Paldea here. So there will be a little gap, I guess, until the next Silver Tempest pack, probably. And nothing. Yeah, I still need some of the more expensive cards from Paldea Evolved, so I would like to see maybe a few of those. Nothing there. On to some Scarlet Violet Base. Riolu Trainer Gallery and Armors, or Illustration Rare, rather. Nothing there. Back to some Silver Tempest. It's just so much fun to open packs when you know you're getting stuff. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Radiant Zam. There is a full art edge. It is the Ho-Oh V. So no, uh, no alt art yet still. Do love to see that silver edge though. Altaria Trainer Gallery in a normal V Magirna. So I am halfway through the Silver Tempest packs now. Still have a couple more packs on the right stack to get through of the Scarlet Violet sets. Nothing. Two Serena Full Art so far though. That's like I mean, even if every pack has a hit, that's still pretty statistically unlikely. So I'm happy about that for sure. Nothing. And back to Scarlet Violet. Miriam. Nope. Miridon. Some more Paldea here. Paldea is tough. I'm gonna say it like I had one really good booster box when it first came out, but it has been pretty brutal to me since then. And it's such a big set. There's just so much stuff that I'm still missing that I want. And nothing. I'm going to use uh, my call of the video, which is not something I've ever done. 
Let's call an alternate art from the next round of Tempest packs, which will be after this pack here. Wishful thinking, I know, but I'm feeling it. There's got to be something, something super hype in one of these. It's not that Serena isn't hype, but I think we can do even better than that. Radiant Zamp, so many Radiant Alakazams. And the Candice, got all the all the girl cards now. Those are pretty valuable. The Candice, not as much as the Serena, but I love to see that. So, not an alternate art, but I will definitely take that. We love to see her. Sorry, I had to get the packaging off that one. Ooh, got the, the V-Star marker for the first time. Radiant Jirachi and another Superior. That one's not one I love to pull. I pulled... I do really like Superior, but I pull that card all the time, even when I'm not opening, like, broken packs. So, you know, wouldn't mind seeing something different. Hey, Quaxley Illustration Rare, one that I did not have from Paldea Evolved. Garganical behind it. There we go. Haven't gotten much from the uh, Scarlet Violet Arrow packs though, Paldea or SV Base. I don't know, I think I've gotten like one EX from the main set cards and like two illustration rares. The first ones I opened were good. I got two special illustration rares, Coridon EX. Um, but yeah, I mean that first one I opened was totally busted. I got uh, SIR from both sets in 110. And like I said, the video of those will be clipped to the end of this one, I think, just because that makes sense to me. Iron Treads EX Full Art. There we go. I just had to complain about those a little bit. So my call was wrong. Did not get the alt art in that last round, but maybe here. It was nuts, though, in Cool Trainer Ryan's video where he managed to get six alternate arts out of 36 packs. I mean, I can already tell that's a Reggie Lucky V Star back there. Radiant Serena. Or uh, V Max, rather. Spoiled myself on that one looking at the edge. No golds yet. Radiant Serena and Lugia V. I got the normal V and the V Star. Come on, you know you want to bring the uh, the big one to the party. Back to some Paldea. Getting nervous on these packs. I mean, I've done incredibly well already, but obviously, you know, I want to see. Uh, want to start seeing some alts, or at least one. Like I said, just one. Rather it not be the unknown. I'd obviously rather it be the Lugia, but. I will take the uh, Reggie Drago as well. That is one that I need. Hey, Dedenne EX Full Art. The Terra Full Art. That is a cool one. That might be one that I actually needed. There was like one more that I needed from Tempest. I don't know if it was that one or not, though. Cool looking card either way. And I will do a massive pull summary. Hey, Slowpoke Illustration Rare. The Scarlet Violet packs uh, heard my complaints and started picking up the slack a little bit. How about a Miriam in this pack? No dice. Alright, back to Silver Tempest. I think I have three more rounds of them, three or four more rounds of them. So, really hoping to. Uh, get that alt here soon. Ooh, I do have a uh, silvery edge. Radiant Serena. And it's the Reggie Drago V alt. There we go. 
first alternate art pull. Can I get one more since uh, there's definitely still time? Reggie Drago one is one I've never pulled. Durant and another Superior. All right. We've seen enough of you, Superior. Nothing. Nothing again. Great Tusky X Full Art. Love to see it. Nothing there. All right, so I got two Tempest there. So I am at, yeah, I have three more rounds total. I'm gonna bait the last two and finish with some Silver Tempest, of course. I think that Serena is still definitely a more valuable card than the Drago. So even though I think it's got a way cooler artwork, of course, it does not take the throne in the card stand. I, that Serena is such a good full art. It really is. I get why it's so valuable. Radiant Zam. That looks like a normal full art. Yep, Reggie Lucky V. Did have the uh, the good edge though. Still need my Lugia. Come on. Give me two so I can sell one and buy more of these tins. Got four packs of Tempest after this one. Miss Magius and a Chestnut V. Not a Silver Tempest opening without some Chestnut V action. Always pull that card. On to some Paldea. Paldea is just such a gnarly set. I've gotten next to nothing from it out of this whole opening. I did get, you know, an Illustration Rare and an EX, but um, two EXs, I guess. One full art, one normal. But still, like compared to uh, you know, how much easier time I've had with Obsidian Flames. There we go, Chen Pao EX Full Art. Obsidian Flames and Scarlet Violet Base before that. There's just too many cards in that set, and I like to have every uh, illustration rare and special illustration rare, so getting all of those becomes pretty difficult when there's like 50 of them in a set. Nothing there. And nothing there. All right, Tempest time again. Show me the uh, Lugia alt. Radiant Zam, I do have a full art. It is the unknown V alternate art. I know that I said I didn't want to see that one, but I'm happy to see it because at least it's not the only one I pulled. Two alternate arts on the board now. This is so wild. Can we round it out? There's only, I think, four in the set. There's the Skun Tank and the Lugia left. I have the Skun Tank. I did purchase it, though. But that one's really, like, not worth anything. So show me the Lugia. Ralts and Unknown V. That was probably, like, the worst pack of all of them so far. Which is... You know, getting a pull and saying that is still kind of funny. Mm, 
Nothing there. Down to the wire here though, just a couple packs left. Only two more Silver Tempest packs left. Nothing from those last two Paldeas. Anything from the last two Scarlet Violets. Let's see. Hariyama. All right, nothing from the last round of Scarlet Violet Arrow Packs. Second to last pack of Silver Tempest here. Can we do it? Lugia Alternate Art. I don't know if that looks like an alt art edge to me. You know, it's a V-Star, Reggie Drago again. All right, last pack magic here. Obviously, I am not disappointed in my pulls, as you can clearly tell, but can I round it off with a Lugia? Let's see. Radiant Serena and a normal V. Mawile V, but obviously did insanely well. Let me gather up all of the pulls and go through them because this is absolutely nuts. And I am going to add the pulls from the first two I opened here. Good, that, that's all just hits. Arvin, Full Art, Chestnut V, Reggie Lucky V Max, Great Tusk SIR, Quackwa Volley X SIR, Giacomo Full Art, Vulpix V Star, Zara Aura V Trainer Gallery, Arcanine V, Serena Full Art, Unknown V Alt Art, Reggie Drago V Alt Art, Radiant Serena, Ma Wild V, Reggie Drago V Star, Unknown V, Radiant Zam, Chen Pao EX Full Art, Chestnut V, Radiant Zam, Reggie Lucky V, Great Tusk EX Full Art, Superior V Star, Radiant Serena, Slowpoke, Illustration Rare, Dedene Full Art, Radiant Serena, Lugia V, Radiant Serena, Reggie Lucky V Max, Iron Treads EX Full Art, Coridon EX, Quaxley Illustration Rare, Radiant Jirachi, Superior V-Star, Radiant Zam, Candice Full Art, Altaria uh, Trainer Gallery, Magirna V, Radiant Zam, Ho-Oh V Full Art, Riolu Illustration Rare, Guard of War Trainer Gallery, Lugia V-Star, Brakeson Trainer Gallery, Reggie Drago V-Star, Radiant Zam, Magirna V, Unknown V-Star, Dedene EX, Quackwaval Gold EX, Radiant Jirachi, Reggie Lucky V, Another Serena, Radiant Alakazam, Chestnut V, Radiant Jirachi, Reggie Drago V Star, Don Dozo Illustration Rare, Radiant Zam, Superior V Star, and Malamar Trainer Gallery. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing. Hey guys, Riley Spanish here, and I have had a bunch of people commenting on my videos talking about these because of the videos like uh, Cool Trainer Ryan's, for example. Um, where the Silver Tempest packs all have hits in them. I think he did 36 Silver Tempest packs all from these and every single one had an ultra rare and he pulled like six alternate arts, three of them being Lugia. Now, I've already opened two of these. I got them from a GameStop on the day they were released and I didn't get anything from Silver Tempest. So I think that basically I'm trying to put the theory to bed um, you know that these went everywhere. I think only a pretty specific batch of them were done like that. And anyways, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, and that's, you know, where the GameStop I got them from is. And now I got these two from a Target just to see if, you know, maybe different distribution channels got different uh, batches of them. But if I don't get anything from, you know, or if basically, if not every Silver Tempest pack, so the four that'll be in these has a hit, then I know to basically stop looking where I'm at. Um, but I thought it's kind of worth a worth another go around. There's the promos and everything. You get the packs out. You get a little collector's album and some stickers in these, like always. And let's go straight to the Silver Tempest. 
because if, if this theory, you know, or basically, if it's like that everywhere, where like the targets just have absolutely busted pull rates, um, then yeah, I think definitely worth uh, going and buying a couple. Do have a good code, and it looks like an ultra rare from the first pack. Zara Aura V and a Hisui and Arcanine V in the same pack. So that's actually a, a good start. That is making a case for this. Let me get into the next one. I only got two. Oh, look at that. White code card. So I don't know that this, uh, that might have just been a pretty lucky first pack. Let's see here, though. Oh, look at that. I do have an ultra rare. Vulpix V Star. Even with the white code, the code did not matter. Okay, let's get through these other packs, open the next 10, because if that's the way it is, I'm going to have to uh, justify going in there and buying an egregious amount of these. And look at that, a Quackwaval EX Special Illustration Rare from Paldea Evolved, and the Giacomo Full Art. This, this tin is insane already. Um, pretty happy I gave this a try. There's still a bunch of these left at my target, so um, might have to go in and like buy them out. There's at least like a dozen of them left. Nothing in that second Paldea pack. Now, if I just got really lucky and my next set of Silver Tempest packs don't both have hits, then... Uh, you know, I'll know that I don't need to uh, buy all of these out, but do I have another special illustration rare? I do, Great Tusk EX, look at that. So that's two special illustration rares and ultra rares in both Silver Tempest packs. Yeah, this tin has been wild. Even if it wasn't like an error product where uh, all the Silver Tempest was busted. This is still crazy. All right, nothing from the final Scarlet Violet base pack. Let's get into the second one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, explain to my wife why I had to spend, you know, $500 on lunchbox tins, if this is true. Do have a white coat on Silver Tempest again, but let's see if that means anything, because last time it sure did not. Reverse Reuniclus, Regilecki VMAX. Just like that. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to uh, do a massive opening of these then because I can't just uh, leave them sitting there if I know the pulls are going to be crazy. If I can pull a couple Lugias or something, that would be nuts. Chestnut V. Nothing crazy from that one. Let's get the other packs open, though. Because I basically, I mean, nothing too insane, but I more or less made my money back on these, you know? It's like with the amount of pulls I got. Obviously, I got lucky on Paldea and um, Scarlet Violet from the second round of them, but, or from the first round. But if you're getting ultra rares in every Silver Tempest pack, then everything else is pretty much secondary. Nothing in that. Last Paldea pack. gives me an excuse to chase the uh, cards I'm missing from Paldea, too. Nothing in that second Paldea pack. Anything out of the final pack of these two collector's chests? Let's see. And a full art Arvin. All right. So let me go through the pulls real quick. Got the Arvin, Chestnut V, Regilecki V Max, Great Tusky X Special Illustration Rare, Quackwaval X Special Illustration Rare, and Giacomo Full Art, Alolan Vulpix V Star, Zara Aura V Trainer Gallery, and Hisuian Arcanine V. I am going to go in and uh, buy as many as I can 
realistically justify and there will be a follow-up video to this one anyways thank you for watching please consider subscribing